All right, hello. A very, very, I'm going to try and make this actually a quick decode, even though I've already tried to do this and it's been well, out, it's got to be an hour long. Um, but I'm going to try and just do a quick version of it, okay? What we're looking at here is we're looking at Billy Idol. He's doing a concert live at the Hoover Dam. Um, and this information was sent to me by Silver Dream Machine. Thank you very much for this one because off the back of this is going to be, I think is going to be quite a good decode. Um, there's actually a lot of reference material here. But I'm not going to do a decode necessarily on what we see in front of us here with this picture with Billy Idol. I mean, if you've been following my decodes, um, you'll know the significance of Billy Idol. You'll know that he his name is connected with the one dollar bill. Okay, you'll know that the one dollar bill has the collapse of the Hoover Dam in encoded on it I believe um, there's definitely you can definitely read it that way anyway I think um, and of course Billy Idol an awful lot of interesting stuff in his songs um, some of which I've covered before and there's some stuff that I'm going to try and cover maybe in this video or maybe hint at in this video but as for the actual decode here we're pretty much done just looking at this. Okay, Billy Idol at the Hoover Dam. Okay. Um, what is being referenced though, out of, you know, I searched this, and this is basically what, this is, this was the main thing that came back. A 35 second clip, interesting that it's 35, um, on the timestamp. Um, or at least when it starts playing it's 35 it's probably probably be 36 usually it's a second more when you're looking at it um, but the 35 the 53 encoded here um, what else do I want to say about this this is yeah this is off Billy Idol's I guess his official YouTube channel um, and so <laughs> this is what he's given us as a clue cradle of love so I immediately went to the music video Cradle of Love and thought, well, you know what, I'll watch through it a couple of times and see, you know, if there's any reference to 5-9, okay? That's the date that I've got penciled in right now on the calendar for this thing to collapse, okay? For this for the Hoover Dam to collapse. So I'm thinking, I'll just keep it, I'll just watch it a couple of times and see if there's a 5-9 there. And there is not, I did not see a 5-9 in there, but I did see something else that was very interesting, and I'm going to go to it now. Um, and we'll actually, we'll go through this video very, very quickly because it's interesting, and I don't really want to do, I could literally do a probably an hour long decode on this video. Um, let me talk you through the narrative as I go and we'll just we'll just you know, try and do this decode okay so we've got guy in apartment um, notice here um, this is right at the start of this thing and notice here they've got the shot of empty containers okay everything's empty this even looks like water flowing out of this paper bag here. These are empty Chinese tartans, empty water bottle by the looks of it here. Um, on, on the Chinese carton, it looks like a temple on here. Okay, so that image there, the temple is empty. Okay, or, okay, so what I want to say is, this is referencing the Holy Spirit. Okay, i.e. you are not trapped within that thing. Okay, the, the, the doors are open to this thing. Um, you can, when the doors open, okay, you can balance both sides of reality. When the Vesica Pisces is open, when your eyes are open, 
you can see you can balance both sides of reality this these empty containers here that's what that's telling me okay that that um this is the holy spirit rather than if these were closed off that would be the bastardization of the holy spirit and that would turn into the to the matrix okay oh man we're gonna it's gonna take a little while actually to do this um so anyway he the, the guy is sat in his apartment he's alone but obviously he's he's what he's doing here is he's writing it looks like an invitation to his wedding and we've got a picture of him and his wife to be here behind him here and actually during this video see this sort of bit where my cursor is here this looks like something flowing here um, so we have an idea of a wall okay with water still flowing over it okay the idea that um, okay there's a container there but there's water flowing from it okay and also if you if you look at the video you'll notice that the the wife to be the fiance has um, a blue tinge to her and he has a kind of a yellowy orange tinge to him um, just in the coloration uh, of those two images in the in the video so that's interesting as well with the with the Virgin Mary and the Sun um, it's a very subtle thing but anyway this invitation he's writing to his wedding you requested uh, your presence is requested at the marriage of the, this is the only bit that we see of it Stuart Norton I'm guessing that's his name okay so Stuart Norton so Stuart is the steward the steward the guy that takes care of naught the the zero zero is perfect balance okay without spending hours explaining that that's the reference there okay zero is perfect balance it's the beginning and the end okay just think about the number line okay there's only one place on the number line where zero e exists okay or doesn't exist if you like but there's only one place where that thing is zero is that balance point the teeter totter between negative numbers and positive numbers okay that's an easier way of thinking about it okay so sh the steward of Norton the guy that takes care of balance okay takes care of the zero the whole the eye being open being able to see both sides of reality okay um, okay and the eye being open let me just mention this as well because I, I came across something about this somebody was saying something about this the other day um, the eye being open the eye has been circumcised okay the that's what that me you know that's what's that's why god's you know god's people are circumcised right because their eyes are open um and that means that you know whatever's covering the eye has been removed okay so this is the idea of having an open eye to be able to see and balance both sides of reality okay and some people take that a little bit too literally and they start chopping pe pieces of their children off to try and um, I don't know I don't know the the reason for it it's just insanity but that is what is being relayed there by that idea of circumcision having the eye open the zero is open so you can see both sides of reality and balance both sides of reality okay you're allowing those two things to mirror each other at that point the physical and the metaphysical anyway this guy's got his apartment shut up really well okay but unfortunately somebody's knocking at the door and he's going to open it and as he opens it here she is okay <laughs> and if you listen to the the music or the the soundtrack with this okay as soon as she shows up there's sirens blaring um, and again that's you know a direct reference to the idea of her being a siren um, this is who is going to seduce um, Stuart here I guess his name Stuart um, and she's basically the devil 
Devin is what her name is. D-E-V-I-N. Okay. Um, we have a nice little... You know, when I first saw this, um, the, the earrings kind of reminded me of the earrings in um, Desperately Seeking Susan. I don't know if they're even close, but just the sort of... I don't know. They just kind of reminded me for some reason. And... Having said that, um, subsequently, if we now go to, do I want to move off of her yet? I mean, you can see she's got the red jacket on, okay? And here's some green of the matrix running through that, okay? So, but this is, you know, when when you first fall in love with the, the um, metaphysical, okay? There's a hint of Venus there, which again is the copper coloured. I guess we can go slightly red with it um, because this thing would be kind of imbalanced still at that point. The idea of the blood moon still being balanced, if you know what I mean. And so, um, so there's that hint of the of Venus there as well, and that's the thing that laws man in okay mankind in is um is something that is fresh and attractive <laughs> so i don't know what else way, way of putting it but that's what laws man in and then as the thing deteriorates it becomes old ugly and it's just it just regurgitates it rehashes the same old stuff, which is like if you listen to Matt on Quantum of Conscience, you know, it's constantly going on about films being made bad deliberately. Well, that's what the system does. It just it just over um, works stuff. You know, it, it just does stuff to death all the time. Um, it just regurgitates because <laughs> it it's not fresh anymore it's just old it's just the same old stuff churning around in the pot and um and that's just what it is and that's what that's the point that we're at now we're you know it's just a big old pot of crud and it's not going to get any better okay uh what do i want to say um I'm already starting to forget little bits here that I wanted to put on. So she's come down the hall and she's asking if she can put a tape on. Now this guy immediately reminded me of somebody else in a Madonna um, video as well. Actually a film. Let me go to that and show you this reference now with this guy. Okay. Because it's who's that girl. And check out this character. This is Loudon. Who's the guy that kind of gets taken for a ride by um, Madonna, who is Nikki Finn, okay, and just the name Nikki Finn. Um, in fact, he's he, the actual name is actually Nicole Finn, and there's kind of a wordplay there with the Nick, the place that captures you, where you get trapped, the Nick hole, okay. That's the like you know if you're English, you know what the Nick is, okay. It's it's the police station, the jail, okay? And when you get nicked, <laughs> you get put, you get stolen away. Well, I don't know about Shanghai, but it's kind of like that. Um, and you're basically captured by that thing. So the Nick Hole, Nicole, and the Finn is where it all finishes, basically. So this could be a reference to the finish of that system. Or it could be the finish of the man as he goes into that system, as he dies, as he goes into the to the dam. So again, it's interesting, but this guy, look, definitely, to me, I mean, come on. <laughs> Is it just the glasses? I'm not sure. I mean, they're very similar character styles, okay? I'll tell you what else is interesting. Take a look at uh, Madonna here and what she's wearing. This studded leather jacket. Check the hair out. This kind of very white hair. 
well let's go back to this video here and I'll just pick a spot and then we'll go backwards and carry on with the story here but look at Billy Idol in here oh blimmin hell come on how can it show me that on the thing and then oh one eyed symbolism in case we don't get back to that with the corona with the ring around the eye here we go we found a fairly reasonable image of it but you can see the studded leather jacket and the very very white hair okay now you know I mean <laughs> I'm not being funny it is there's also in interesting as well Madonna has this kind of I want to say five o'clock shadow thing going on it almost looks like she's got a hint of a beard and it, it's like that in several other places in the film um, I don't know if other people see that as well but if you actually go to a, a good clip of it what well, it does she looks very grey around there I don't know it's weird it's very weird um, but I thought that was interesting there's definitely some kind of synchronicity there with what she's wearing and this Billy Idol image that's in the video as well I don't know um, so where did we get to he's writing out his wedding invitation and she's come knocking at the door and she wants to put on a tape and coincidentally enough that's also pretty funny that she's come to play this tape because um, he lets her in to play the tape and um, what am I going to say right in this scene um, Nikki Finn Madonna is stealing cassette tapes from this store so it's, it's again I don't know if it's just a, you know I don't know whether it's just a natural synchronicity or what the hell's going on here but it is weird um, that that's what's happening um, in who's that who's that girl and in this video um, she's not stealing tapes but she's coming on to put up put, put a tape on there's the tape um, there's some interesting numbers on the tape can't remember off the top of my head I think it's like a C10 or something um, and as she puts that tape on it kind of reminded me of Marty they do the the close-up of her turning knobs and pressing buttons and it, it almost reminded me a little bit of back to the future where Marty turns the amp on um, but anyway obviously with the name Dev in there's obviously a slight reference to the devil there okay <laughs> a slight reference a definite reference so Billy Idol shows up in this thing he's just on a screen like on picture frames in the background of this thing sort of singing along to the song so interesting with the idea of the monolith um, the big screen um, she comes in and sits down immediately kind of on a Vesica Pisces shaped black couch okay which again is interesting um, I don't know what to say about the way she sits on this here it's almost like a reference to the black hole okay and going into the black hole okay that's all I'm going to say about that um, I mean it's not a basic instinct moment but there is this reference with the couch and the way she sticks her legs up on there um, I don't know the sh her, she flings her shoe off and it goes in the in the fish tank which again I don't really know apart from the reference to the to the tank um, I'm not really sure about that reference to be quite honest um, I'd have to think about that one for a little bit um, and obviously there's a lot of different colors and meanings with the different colors used in this whole thing but anyway she ends up dancing to the song that she's put on which is of course rock the cradle of love <laughs> and there's that one eye symbolism again as he's watching and so we get to a point in the in the in the video where she does a um, she does something interesting here in just a second yeah we get to this wine rack and so we've got some decode that we can do here with these numbers okay 
obviously we can just look at the bottles so here we've got three bottles then we've got two bottles and then we've got one bottle so we've got a three two one okay and she's going to remove this middle bottle okay which then leaves us with a three one one three one one in the chart of Lorraine three one one let me show you and I still have the V and the the L up from the last decode or whenever that decode was I left it up because I'm going to show you a decode with it here in a minute with the, with the wine bottles with this V but again the 311 which is Billy Idol's birthday the 11th um, the 30th of um, November which is also St Andrew's Day that's important to note and that is also one of those direct references uh, you know with the dollar bill um, his his birthday is actually in the dollar bill um, and it's part of the 25 quarter code is what I call it where you go from again you go from um, the 5th of November to his birthday which is 3 which is the 30th of November and then you go to Christmas and then you from Christmas you go to the 19th of January so 119 and 911 reference and then from there you go back to this number here the 13th of February so those numbers are in here okay um, in the um, and actually his birthday is also here as well 311 uh, just put the zero in there for 30 the 30th so what am I trying to say again it's you know 311 sorry 311 is a direct reference to um, the 254th day of the year which is 911 okay so 311 has got all kinds of references um, back to the dollar bill back to Billy Idol back to the Saint, cross of St Andrews which is one of the crosses that I use in here which is this cross okay so it's got a lot of um, super interesting you know cross referencing that you can do with it um, okay where what else did we want to look at in here so you've got that there um, we can also this let me show you this decode we can also number these squares so one two three four five six seven eight nine okay and then underneath there's a reflection so there's nine squares and it, then if we look at where the bottles are we got one three um, four five and seven and eight one three four five seven eight okay now if we go to the chart and we remove those numbers from inside this V here um, I'll just start circling them one uh, three four there's another four down here five and then we want to get rid of the sevens and the eights okay and so that leaves us with 226 and a 911 okay so and you know let's circle those so we can see what we're dealing with 226 and I'm going to do 911 in a different color and a 911 so that's pretty interesting because let me show you okay so not only do we get a 911 out of it which is obviously interesting but the 226 is pretty interesting as well let me show you the 226 because 226 um, if we go to the let's go to the 200 and let's see where I want to go here hang on a minute April 262 right here okay so this is April the 13th okay April the 13th is obviously pi numbers okay so that's interesting okay because pi numbers are right here okay which obviously are going to connect maybe with this five nine here yeah 
Um, now let's look at the other. Um, so that was 226, or was that 262? That was uh, 262. Now let's look at 226. And 226 is down here a bit. 200. Where is it? Here we are. 226 days left in the year. Okay. It's May the 19th. 139 days gone. 226 days left. May the 19th. That's 10 days after 5 9. Okay. May 19th. So we've got a, a 5 1 9 reference. And again, um, it's the 139th day of the year. Okay. 139 shows up here and here. 139 is a total for this column here in the number 7 column. Okay which again, that's all to do with the combination of the five and six column, okay, kind of. <laughs> yeah, I say kind of because it doesn't work for the actual number line, but it's a combination of the five and six col um, column, okay. What is also interesting about 139 shows up here in the nine column, which is cross-referencing with this five. So we have a five, nine, cross-reference with the 139, okay? A 5-9 cross, cross-reference. So that is also really interesting with the 226th day of the year. So already you can see, I don't, I, you know, it's just interesting. We've got those numbers left in here after we take away what they've, what they've encoded in the wine rack there. And again, you know, um, the wine rack is the thing that contains the blood, okay? And again, we're going to see this in a minute, but this is also, if this was a glass, this is the stem, and here's the base, okay? It's also the cup that holds the blood, okay? And, <laughs> you know, again, that gets shed <laughs> once a month. Um, in a cycle, um, but the blood. Let me sh let's go back to the video and we'll just carry on because the blood is going to be important here in a minute. Um, so anyway, she's going to pour this this wine. I'm trying to think if I missed anything else out of here before we can move on any further. Hopefully, I'm explaining this. The best thing probably to do is to actually go and watch the video a few times. And then come and listen to this decode, to be quite honest. Yeah, in the background here, before we move on, we've got kind of maybe Twin Tower reference with the yellow and the, the black here. Um, also, the yellow and the black of the um, um, the radioactive type material. I don't know, but we also have... Um, it's also the you know obviously it's the sun and the the um, the black pearl, the eclipse of the sun, and we again we have that kind of reference. I think these are lemons up here, but if you look at the the shape of this vessel, this fruit bowl, um, it looks to me like this is a reflection down here. Um, so again we have. We have the the sun sort of in the container, and what has happened is that the um, the upward arrow now, because the sun is in in within the womb now, the upward arrow has become a fiction. So, like when we go into the matrix, what we're actually identifying with when we live our lives is a fiction okay we become that that side of us the twin that is not real if you like okay so that's another interesting concept here pretty deep but another interesting concept with this bowl obviously look it's a silver bowl you know the silver moon the, the silver the 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 mirror okay so again more interesting stuff um 
did I have another anything else to say then? She's going to remove this number five. Okay, she's going to take the five bottle. The five bottle is going. Okay, another maybe a reference to the loss of the Holy Spirit, the number five as well. So that's interesting. Um, gosh, did I have anything else with this? Let's just leave it there for this and um, we'll move on. Let me show you the. Um, let's see what we got. Come on. And of course, Billy Idol in this. He's he's got the up, upside down cross on, which is also a, a sort of dagger sword thing. Um, I mean, we could just. I, I'm not really that interested in decoding the bits and bobs going on with actually Billy Idol in this. Rather, I'm looking at the story here. So she's just pouring poured that glass. I see if I can find it. Yeah, here it is. So there's an interesting thing. I play just a second to get it to right spot. Okay, here's the corkscrew, and if you notice, they sh do a shot of it like this with the arms of the corkscrew out like a cross, and then as the blood, let's say, is as the bottle is opened or the the blood is allowed to move from the bottle into the glass okay this thing goes from across goes down okay the arms go down out of the cross out of being balanced and then the blood pours into <laughs> into the glass and the see-through glass glass you know this is the this is the cup of the cup of christ but it's obviously the bastardized version maybe at this point okay so and she's going to drink that blood and that blood represents the living man that blood represents our energy our time okay and that is the matrix consuming taking that energy you know as in the actual film the matrix you know we're referred to as batteries that's the energy being taken to um power the machines the matrix okay um what's interesting is is he's gonna try and get rid of her here he's like like oh no this is this is just not working out for me <laughs> taps her on the shoulder and she spills the glass all over her okay and basically well we didn't get a good shot of it um let's see here it goes um basically we kind of have a little bit of a blood moon reference here like he's trying to bring this thing back into balance now okay he's trying to bring the devil back into balance because he taps on the shoulder like he's trying to get rid of her and at least that's the way i'm seeing it and as he does that the glass gets spilled and so we have this blood moon reference with the with the red of the blood over the moon but that does not um what do i want to say that does not last very long okay uh what happens is she takes this uh blouse off very quickly this shirt okay we or she already took off the red from before and it's like she, she's moving through the phases of you know the um i don't know what the way you'd say it the um the young moon to the you know from the from the maid i think it's a maid or maiden and through to you know gradually going through the phases in terms of age not in terms of like crescent and that but i'm talking age from um I don't know if it's maiden first or maid. I don't know which way around that goes actually, thinking about it. But anyway, don't matter. She's going from young to old at this point, right? Keeping it simple. Um, but she's going to take this shirt right off. Okay. So this thing is not coming back into balance. It's out of control at this point. He knows it. Okay. And we go straight into Black Pearl mode here. Okay. Which is pretty interesting. The sh the the blood moon is removed. There is going to be no balance. She's gone into black pearl mode. Okay. 
Oh, another interesting thing to note as well is that he has this double tie on um, during the during the video, where it's like one part of the tie is one pattern and the other part is another pattern. It reminds me a bit of the. It's not a double tie like they have in Back to the Future with Back to the Future Two with Marty referencing the number eleven or the Twin Towers, but there is two distinct patterns on his tie, uh, which is also interesting. Um, but what else I want to say here? Um, yeah, there's no clean. He goes try clean up the mess, but there's no cleaning up the mess. Um, uh, what else do we want to say? She's basically out of control. She's still got the glass of wine. She's still drinking that thing. Okay, that's important as well to note that she's still got control of the man, the blood in the glass. Okay, and again, there's something to do. You know, again with Madonna. This isn't Madonna. I don't know actually what who this is in this clip that Billy Idol's got kind of around the neck here. Um, yeah, I don't know who that is, who that actress is, whether it's somebody famous or what, I don't know. Um, be interesting to find that out, but there is a hint of like Marilyn Monroe or Madonna or somebody, you know, here. Um, but anyway, anybody knows who that is, I'd be interested in the comments. Um, but anyway, um, there's a few other little bits. We've got a 55 here with the VV. And notice the very strong um, white silvery V compared with the um, the sun yellow V that's in the background there. So a nice 55 reference. Um, again, you know, that's again links to Billy Idol quite nicely, links back to the dollar bill quite nicely, links to the chart of rain quite nicely. Um, note the the kind of, oh, I don't know what colour, orangey sandy colour with the crack in it here. Um, this could be several different things, you know, it makes me think of the, the um, Grand Canyon in the desert, you know, the idea of the, this is also maybe the idea of the, um, again, back to uh, a Venus idea with the, with the coppery color having a crack in it. And that crack, the groove that you get stuck in, again, that's also an idea of getting stuck inside the womb again, going into that crack. <laughs> okay, so there's several different ideas there with that thing. Um, cra let's crack on. <laughs> She's right above it there as well, you see. It's kind of interesting. Um, what else have I got here? She's wrecking the bed. Um, there's that crack again. Uh, again, we've got some more triangular references here. And again, you know, what I want to say about the triangle is like when you have the two triangles meeting up in a cross, like the the X, okay, the upward and the downward, there's a point, right? That point and that point is the... The pinnacle, the you know, being on top of that triangle, like being on top of the pyramid, yeah, that's like where the eyes open, right? And when those two things are meeting up in the X, okay, you can balance those two things. But when you flip those two things around and the eyes are like shooting off in different directions, like here and shooting off up here, okay, what you end up is you're not balancing those two things um and so <laughs> you've got crazy eyes and so you can get stuck so these two things are flipped now and so you get stuck inside what becomes a, a diamond or a square yeah so you get stuck inside that cube diamond or square which i thought was interesting as well 
so this idea of this thing being flipped around um they've done it with a lampshade there you know the symbolism what else is going on here um yeah he's kind of worried at this point he's you know he just can't do anything to get rid of her he goes to try turn off the machine he unplugs it it's still going you know and this is the and there's also some interesting numbers on here um the omega the eight as well for the number of man the omega um that is also a you know I mean I've gone through all this symbolism before um lots of the ten various the needles right around the ten you know again the right hand side here, yeah, the sun um so that's really interesting as well, um but you can't turn it off once it's going, it's going, you know, and you can't turn it off. He pulls the plug, but he can't turn it off. So he's having a bit of a meltdown, okay? And what actually happens is that image on the wall there, which reminds me of kind of nature, it looks like trees and plants and stuff, abstract, modern art image. And there's lots of plates on here, um, and they all fall off the wall and smash. And to me, that is like the... You know, this is the the final straw here is this is the destruction of nature those plates you know of course nature is really the thing that nourishes us that really feeds us you know hence the plates on in this image okay and they fall off and break okay so hence nature being broken okay we've even got some flowers on the plates here and he's picking up the pieces but that's it is you know this is the end of this is the end now, you know, nature's being destroyed, and here she comes, okay. Remember, this is just a projection of our own egos, you know, we have a, an, an individual self-ego, and then that thing also we project into a, you know, a conscious collective ego, which is the world around us, okay, so. <laughs> this is what this thing is. She's crawling along the floor, you know, it's just that nut, and here he is, he's he's pretty worried. She finally comes up and kisses him, okay, and this is the end here now, where we're at now, right? This is the kiss, the cross, yeah, that's what kiss and cross, very similar words, okay, probably come from the same you know and this is 11 11 this is two lips two 11s meeting and crossing okay 11 11 and again at the hoover dam we have the two inlet towels on one side two inlet towels on the other side 11 11 you know and that's one of those numbers that is kind of hinted at in the um dollar bill with the 10 11 reference with the pi day that is the 10th of November, yeah, moving into 1111, yeah, remember, remember, Remembrance Sunday. Um, so this is, this is the point at which balance is going to start returning with the, with the, with the, the cross or the kiss. And, and obviously there's some other little bits in here. Um, he's popped his collar there. Again, you know, I've said about this with Elvis, with the collar. And Elvis has that great big collar on with the low slung neck. It looks like the Vesica Pisces, the lips of the Vesica Pisces with the head sticking out. And this is what's going on here. It's almost like he's emphasizing the fact that his head's going to be sticking out of the, you know, coming through the collar. The head is coming through the Vesica Pisces here. Okay, again, kind of subtle, kind of an Elvis reference. Um, and again, she's off. She's putting her stuff back on, and she's going. There's a banging at the door. Um, and this guy, I might just play it actually. Is Devin here? Did you hear that? Is Devin here? He's asking, is Devin here? But it sounds a bit like, is Dev in here? Like, is the devil in here? Again. This guy's coming to take care of 
the devil. <laughs> He's got the cross on. He is the balanced man. He has the Virgin Mary colours. Okay. The the black jacket of the black pearl is over his shoulder. Like it's... He's in charge of it. Yeah. It's not covering him completely. You know, he's not completely enveloped in it. He has it. Okay. And it's he's in charge of it. Um, yes. Yes. And the sirens are going again. You know. Now, this is the bit that I really wanted to show people. Is... Uh, they're saying their goodbyes. Thank you. Thank you. But this is really what I wanted to show you is now I've stopped it in not a very good spot because it's going to be shining up here. Hang on a minute. Let's see if we can get a little bit better shot here. Hang on a minute. Yes. Yes. Okay. Come on. Thank you. Okay, that's great. Okay, the jacket is back on. I want to show you this reference with the jacket obviously there's some other bits like the headband <laughs> the black hole reference again you know there's just tons of stuff in here but the jacket the jacket right here check the jacket out because here's our date right here right on the arm of the jacket okay and the date that they've given us is i don't know if you can make out this little five pointed star here and the five-pointed star obviously is connected with this zero looking thing which also looks like a C, like a crescent moon which also looks like a set of horns I don't know <laughs> you know and here's the obviously at the heart of that thing would be the the, metaf the, the pure metaphysical of the five-pointed star okay and then around that thing we have this kind of idea of the the crescent moon as well where it starts to get manipulated right but this is giving us a zero a five and the sword right here is giving us a number one okay the sword represents physical man yeah so we have a really nice reference the number 10 itself is obviously the one is physical mankind the zero is the metaphysical and again we have that here and we have it emphasized with the fact that this is like the moon here like the bull horns like the the womb where we where we are trapped if we're not careful and then we have the the sword which is the the physical man and we have the five pointed star which is the the holy spirit and so we have all those things together here, and it's referencing 5.10, okay, the 10th of May. And again, if we remove the zero and just do some basic numerology, 5.1, May Day, okay, 5.1 is May Day, um, the cry for help, <laughs> you know, um, We've got that. Re There's so many May Day references, it's just nuts. You know, of course, um, the bond um, with Zoran in it, that was the one that springs to mind for me, A View to a Kill. And um, another May Day reference that I covered before as well that springs to mind is uh, Men in Hats, the safety dance. Um, was it Men in Hats or Men Without Hats? I don't know what it is, but anyway. Um, the safety dance, they are running around <laughs> dancing with the maypoles out like it's May Day, okay, and right at the end of that, go watch the, mu the music video for that and watch the very, very end because it's very ominous. Um, there's some black and white pictures that flash up and jet fighters and uh, that kind of thing. Um, so again, this May Day thing. And again, with madonna's uh holiday song they're actually going to end up having on may 8th for the coronation they're going to have a bank holiday okay so there's going to be a holiday before the 9th and of course the 10th could be insinuating a holiday with may day as well okay so the idea of the song holiday and there's there's a there's a line and it goes something like we need a day to come together to release the pressure 
we just had, if we had a holiday, you know. And again, it just, you know, some of this, the way some of this stuff's fitting together for me is just absolutely weird. Really weird. Um, what else did I want to say? Um, is there anything else with May Day? Um, I felt like there was something else. I'm going to leave it there. Um, I'm just trying to think what I've forgotten out of here. I think that's it, basically. I really do. But this is the day after. And, of course, 5.9, 5 5.9999999999. 5 until you get to that 10, okay, that's the completion. Okay, and the restart. The zero, back to the zero. Okay, but that's a point that you can never quite reach on the number line. Because you can keep dividing uh, up until that point. Um, but that is interesting, you know, that, you know, this is this is the completion of the whole thing. So 5.9 is before that. Um, what else was there? Is there anything on the door as he shuts the door? No. He's just happy to be done with that. Um, oh boy. I felt like there was something else I wanted to mention. Um, just two things with um, with the character. I think I said something about Nicole, didn't I? Um, with Nicky Finn again. And there's also a reference with Nick to Nicholas, St. Nicholas, the time of Christmas, and there is actually a, um, there is actually a, oh, what do I want to say, there's almost like a, I think there's a May reference with St. Nicholas to May the 6th, no, it's May the 9th, there is a May the 9th reference. It's the day before, it's the evening before May the 9th. That's the reference. So it's a May 9th reference. Um, why they don't call it an evening of May the 8th, I don't know. But for some reason, in Wikipedia, it says the evening before May the 9th. And it's to do with, I believe it's to do with um, his bones coming back to, I think it may be some... I'm not sure. I need to do a bit more research on it before I go saying what it is. But it might be something to do with his bones returning back either home or to Rome or somewhere. Um, but that is kind of interesting that St. Nicholas has a reference with Christmas, around Christmas time, around Christmas time. And obviously in our culture it's been enveloped into Christmas. And also around this time as well and we're dealing with another idea of rebirth with <laughs> may the 9th and um again back with christmas is rebirth as well okay it's the rebirth of the sun so is easter's the rebirth of the sun in fact you know there's an awful lot of rebirth stuff going on um I think I'm going to leave it there, but I did want to just make that reference with Nicholas and St. Nicholas and Christmas, and also you can tie it back into May, and there was someone else I'm sure actually. Um, oh, I wanted to mention two, I wanted to mention a date, um, and that was actually it's today, so this is obviously an interesting day right here. Again, for Madonna, while I'm on the topic of Madonna, because this 23rd of, in fact, let's get rid of some of this stuff really, really quickly and just tag this little Madonna thing on the end. So today's interesting because, again, we've got her um, birth numbers within this set of numbers here, and we've got the, the Hoover Dam numbers right here, I believe. And so a connection right here would be these numbers here, which, of course, if we just knock that one off the end, we've got 423. And again, um, 
this is kind of interesting with the L shape um, decodes that we've kind of been looking at, you know, with the king and the queen, and again with the with the matrix and the crowning of a new king again. I don't know. So this kind of connects these numbers together in an L. So the the four twenty three, and also that's Saint George's Day as well, Saint George's Day, and also. Um, that gal in the video, I believe, what was her name? It's Betsy Lynn George, I think. That was interesting as well. And again, St. George's Day, if you change calendars, this is what I wanted to tell you. If you change calendars, that takes you to the 6th of May, which again, 5 6 is the coronation. So that's interesting. And of course, the whole time in St. George and the the flag being a, um, an emblem, of, uh, maybe a, a symbol for the blood moon. It's a symbol for a lot of other things as well, but it's maybe a symbol for that. And obviously it's also the idea of slaying this, the beast, the dragon. Okay. Which is where we are now in the, in the dragon's den. And Another date to look out for as well is going to be um, the 26th of um, April as well, because the 26th of April goes through to the 9th of May. So the 26th, when you change calendars from Gregorian um, or vice versa, actually, from... <sighs> Julian through to Gregorian, you're going to end up doing that that number jump and getting to the 9th of May and the 26th. So that was just some interesting stuff to tack on the end of the video there. Um, the other thing I like about the, the 23rd as well is that it ties into this leg of the, the uh, cross as well. Okay, that's another thing to remember with that. That X there. The 23 ties in with the 53. It's the mirror of the 53. So that's another nice little tie in for the 23rd. Um, I don't know. I don't know what else to say really. That's it. I'll catch on another video here soon. Um, I don't know if there was anything I really wanted to expand on in there or not. I just want to, you know, re emphasize the idea that there's a lot of tie backs with who's that girl and <laughs> what is going on there there's a ton of references and also i did have a quick re-look at some of the stuff in who's that girl and there are some interesting bits and bobs with numbers now that tie back into the table that i didn't really realize before so i might go re-explore who's that girl at some point as well so anyway who's that girl is the who the hoover and we're gonna see we're gonna we just have to wait and see okay all right thanks for watching cheers bye okay just a quick little bit on the end of the video i forgot to mention this little bit that's just after she's done the jumping on the bed scene he runs to one side of this doorway um we've got tower one tower two so we have a twin towers reference in here They've even got him as the physical tower one and then the metaphysical tower two. Okay. With the, um, with the, with her sat shadow silhouette thing here. Okay. So again, pretty interesting. Okay. S sectioned into three sections like the twin towers. Okay. Needed to put that in there. Okay. Um, what else did I want to, one other thing I wanted to mention as well is that on the, um, sorry, on the um, side B of the single is 311 man, okay, 311 man. So that was the other thing I wanted a reference to, okay, and of course that ties into all the other 311s that we were just looking at in the video, okay. Anyway. Thanks for watching and I will catch you on the next one. All right, cheers, bye.